We're at a dealership in Turlock picking up one car. What are you doing? Doing some touch up. Every uh, month I got to do this. If I don't do it, it'll it'll look like a whole the whole trailer is rusted. So what he did last night is he hand washed it, and today he's touching up the areas that has the chip paint. This trailer is a 2017. The mesh is in, in fairly good shape considering how old it is. So yes, he touches it up with paint and that keeps it from rusting. I think that's it. So that's how easy it is. Basically, he just washed it by hand, the whole trailer, made sure all the dirt and was off of it, dirt and grease, and then he touches it up with some Rust-Oleum black paint, and that's it. Very easy maintenance. Hey. And this is Rust-Oleum metallic, yeah. stops rust. Yeah. That's basically what you want. You want a type of paint that's going to help uh, prevent or stop or prevent rust. So any brand. Any brand long is for, is for metal, not wood. Yes. Oh, look, you need some right here. All of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What's going on right here? Right. Right there. Yeah, I got to do this area before I uh, drop the ramp. So if you have a trailer that's, you know, I would get a couple of bottles of this, wash it really well, and then paint it, and then after that, it'll be just maintenance after that. No, if you got if you got to paint the whole thing, what I would do, go to where you buy paint for the cars. It's called the industrial paint, and that stuff is like uh, what farmers use. Works really good. Oh, is that what we put on the toy hauler? I put that on the toy hauler. I put that on my uh, dump truck. So he purchased this paint there for our toy hauler and he did the whole undercarriage because we used to go to Pismo and it's still very nice. There's it's, no rust down there. It's way better than the, uh, the factory uh, paint they yes. use. And that's what, um, that's why they call it industrial. It's mm -hmm. real, um, really good quality paint. And for you, those of you that are not in California, Pismo is a place where it's it's sand, it's sand beaches. So we would take our toy hall camp in the sand, would touch the trailer and make it rusty. Okay, vehicle's ready. He's gonna go and drive it up. So you saw it's hitting, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot it over. What happened? It was hitting because this is on a this, this that went down, so it's hitting the bumper. Okay, <clears throat> should be okay right there, right? How is it? It's good. Why did you put the washer? So I don't lose my ramps. So why, is, why do you have the washer? The washer just keeps it coming from... <laughs> Lifting up too much? Yeah, because you get a lot of bounce in the back of the trailer. Oh, okay. See? Oh, yeah. See, and without the washer, if you, yes. if you notice, this is what happens if you don't put a washer. See? Yeah. I mean, I bought the I bought the trailer like this, but whoever had it, look at the hole. Yeah. That's because they didn't put no washer. So, yeah. if you have ramps, putting a washer may help. What do you think right there? Yes, not lower. Uh, there's about a foot right there. Uh, uh, no, right there is good. Whenever you put a car under the, the ramps, make sure your chains right here. Uh, make sure they got a tie, a zip tie. Mine does, does yours? 
Mine's missing a zip tie. Can you go grab me one? I found these white ones. That'll work. Oh yeah, so as you can see, the zip tie is missing. You know what, now that I, I need to check the other ones too. When he first started car pulling, he didn't have any um, vehicles on the lower deck. He was doing wedge, but the chains would fall before he started zip tying. Yeah, they all have zip ties. Except for, except for that one, right? Except for that one. I just washed the trailer. You brought me some uh, a dirty car. Look out! Look at all that dirt on the. I know. Man. What you? Oh, they had it in the field. Yes. Oh man. Right. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Actually, these, these are not bad if I double up. Yeah. And he always does one last final walk around. I'm just checking if there's any anything that's going to... Any nails. Nails or make a hole in the on the tire. back at the tree an old phone that is not actually activated on service we use it to take photos i have to put this higher So we are doing non-CDL car hauling today. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. But we booked these vehicles with the hopes that more would come out and then came out. Okay. Vamanos. It's 11:11. We arrived at a dealership in Stockton where we're going to deli deliver this vehicle. That is super low. That is he, he, he's, oh, he's dragging scraping. the whole time. <laughs> you know why he's dragging? Why? He's got the heavy SUV in the back. Oh. And the truck, the dually in. Oh wow. So he's been scraping the whole time. I think so. That's crazy. He's still scraping. You can hear him. Right now that I got the ramp up, it's a good idea to do an inspection on the equalizers or on the axles. So what I'm gonna check for my brake lines, broken leaf springs and crack equalizers. I see a problem right here, look at this. That's an easy fix plastic was loose or uh, it was so I gotta check my uh, my wires that one's good that one's good that one over there's good this one's good see the little these little clips right here that uh that holds the leaf springs once in a while they come loose this is um, this goes on your leaf springs on the front not on the back front front so what I was doing I was bending this little thing back so when I uh, watch out they're pretty easy to install a 
What are you checking? Checking the bottom of the equalizer. Okay. 